What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of So I Think I'm a Gamer. I hope you're all doing awesome today because today is a big day. That's what she said. Why? Because today's episode will be my first skill guide. This skill guide will be my levels 1 to 99 or 120 cooking. But first... <laughs> If you are new to the channel, make sure to obliterate that like button for me. And if you find value in today's video, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with our latest content. Quick disclaimer, if you are an Iron Man or Hardcore Iron Man, remember that you must obtain or create these items yourself. Cooking is one of the easiest skills to train. It simply involves gathering up something to cook, starting a fire or finding a range, click and watch. You're going to want to repeat this process from levels 1 to 99 or 120. And that concludes today's episode. So thank you all, and I will see you in the next episode of So I Think I'm a Gamer. Just kidding. Now let's cover some of the things that will help you speed up the process and save you tons of money. First and foremost, double XP week. We have about four of these a year, and it's always the best time to train any viable skill. Cooking urns, which grant up to an additional 20% XP per hour while training. Torstal incense sticks, which grant an additional 2% base XP when stacked. The sous chef outfit, which grants an additional 6% XP when wearing the full set. Portable ranges, which add an additional 21% to base cooking. Plus, it gives you the opportunity of getting extra food. The cooking gauntlets, which lower the level in which you stop burning food and save you money. And at levels 99 to 120, the cooking skill cape, which prevents you from burning any food, removing the need of using cooking gauntlets. And if you're lucky enough to obtain a pair, cooking brawling gloves, which provides an additional 50% base XP when used outside of the wilderness, and a total of 300% when used at level 47 of the wilderness. These can be stacked with all other bonuses mentioned before, but the effects of the gloves do not work during double XP. Now let's begin. Subscribe. Disclaimer, remember that pricing is subject to change. Always make sure to check on pricing before using any of the methods shown in this video. At levels 1 through 20, you are going to want to cook crayfish. You will need to cook 149 crayfish to reach level 20. If caught and cooked, you are looking at about 10k profit. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 63k. At levels 20 through 30, you are going to want to switch to cooking trout. You will need to cook 128 trout to reach level 30. If caught and cooked, you are looking at profits of about 20k, and if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 42k. Levels 30 through 40, you'll switch to cooking tuna. You will need to cook 239 tuna to reach level 40. If caught and cooked, you are looking at profits of about 14k, and if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 83k. Levels 40 to 45, you can start cooking lobster. It will take you 203 lobster to reach level 45. If caught and cooked, you will be seeing profits of about 65k, and if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 13k. At levels 45 to 52, you are going to want to switch to cooking swordfish. It should take you 444 swordfish to reach level 52 cooking. If caught and cooked, you are looking at profits of 126k, and if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 48k. Levels 52 to 72, you're going to want to cook Desert Souls. It will take you about 5,443 Desert Souls to reach level 72. If caught and cooked, you are looking at a profit of about 734K. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 1.4 mil. For level 72 to 80, you are going to want to cook Green Blubber Jellyfish. It should take you 6,587 Green Blubbers to reach level 80. If caught and cooked, you will be looking at profits of about 3.7 mil. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a profit of about 170k. Remember, pricing is subject to change. Cooking gauntlets are strongly recommended beyond this point. At levels 80 to 94, you are going to want to switch to cooking sharks. It will take you 28,375 sharks to reach level 94. If caught and cooked, you will be netting a profit of about 51.1 mil. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a profit of about 1.8 mil. At levels 94 to 97, you are going to want to switch to cooking rocktails. It should take you 12,214 rocktails to reach level 97. If caught and cooked, you will be looking at a profit of about 39.7 mil. 
And if purchased and cooked, you will be looking at profits of about 5 mil. You can also continue to cook rocktails all the way to level 99 as the cheapest method. From levels 94 to 99, you will need 22,622 rocktails. If caught and cooked, you'll be looking at profits of about 73.5 mil. And if purchased and cooked, you're looking at profits of about 9.3 mil. For the faster and more expensive method, you'll want to switch to cooking blue burber For the faster, more expensive method, you'd want to switch to cooking blue burber for the faster, more expensive method, you'll want to switch to cooking blue blubber jellyfish from levels 97 to 99. It will take you 9,966 blue blubbers to reach level 99. If caught and cooked, you'll be looking at profits of about 65.5 mil. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 1.4 mil. If you wish to continue, continue, apparently I can't English today, guys. Sorry. If you wish to continue to level 120 the fastest way possible, you're going to want to cook sailfish. It will take you 337,922 sailfish to reach level 120 cooking. If you catch all these sailfish and cook them, you'll be looking at profits of about 1.5 bill. And if purchased and cooked, you are looking at a loss of about 370 mil. And of course, if you want to reach level 120 while saving money and profiting as much as possible, sharks, mantas, and rocktails are the way to go. From levels 99 to 120 cooking using sharks, you'll need 434,471 sharks to reach level 120 cooking. If caught and cooked, you'll be looking at profits of about 783 mil. And if purchased and cooked, you're looking at profits of about 28 mil. If cooking mantas from 99 to 120, you'll need 421 1,816 mantas to reach level 120 cooking. If caught and cooked, you'll be looking at profits of 1.1 bill. And if purchased and cooked, you'll look at profits of about 186 mil. Cooking rocktails from 99 to 120, you'll need 405,506 rocktails to reach level 120 cooking. If caught and cooked, you'll see profits of about 1.2 bill. And if purchased and cooked, you'll look at profits of about 77 mil. And that, my friends, officially concludes our levels 1 to 99 or 120 cooking guide. If you found this video helpful in any way, consider subscribing. Nearly 90% of you guys watching my videos aren't subscribed. And if you didn't find this video helpful, let us know down below what we could do to make this video better. Feedback is always welcome. And with all that said, I would like to thank you all for all the continuous love and support we are getting on this channel. Without you, there would be no City Age. So I thank you guys, and I will see you in the next episode of So I Think I'm a Gamer.